Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are celebrating a new Minions movie. It's coming out early July, so I thought it would be fun to make something Minions. And because I love ice cream and I'm really into making hoopie pies, so I made Minion hoopie pies ice cream sandwiches. Let's get started. To make the batter, you're gonna need granulated sugar, buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can add a little bit of vinegar to your milk and let it sit for five minutes. You're gonna need baking powder and some salt, one whole egg, room temperature unsalted butter, all-purpose flour, and also some vanilla extract. First, whisk together baking powder, salt, and all-purpose flour and set aside. Now cream the butter and granulated sugar until creamy. Then crack one egg, add vanilla extract. Now cream the butter with egg until pale in color and doubled in volume. This will take about five minutes if you are using a handheld mixer. Now gradually add all-purpose flour alternating with buttermilk make sure that you have your mixer set to low speed now we're gonna divide the batter into six sections largest section is uh, going to be the yellow batter second largest is blue and then the remaining sections are approximately the same size you're gonna need four food colorings yellow blue black and brown Now take a small spatula or a spoon and fold the color into the batter until well combined. To pipe I'm going to use these extra large piping bags. You can find a link where you can get these down below in the description area. Now you can either use a rubber band or a um, clip to close the bag, but I like these extra large bags because I can just tie a knot and then you can trim the excess for easier piping. Now we're going to start with yellow. Then take the blue and fill in the bottom. Now I'm going to make goggles strap. Make sure when piping with black you don't make the opening on the bag too too big because once baked then if it's too big it's gonna look a little bulky so make sure that you cut it small. Now I'm using gray. To get the gray, I also used black food coloring. You just have to use a little bit to get a nice gray color. And now for the eye, I'm filling the gray circle. That's basically also part of the goggles. Um, I'm filling it with white for the eye. Now for the mouth, I uh, put the black batter into a new piping bag and I cut a really, really small opening. And now for the eye, I'm using the brown. I'm just piping a dot in the center of the eye and also two buttons on each side. Now we're ready to bake these at 350 degrees of Fahrenheit for about 11-12 minutes. Once baked, let them cool in a pan for about three minutes and then transfer them onto a cooling rag. We have to let them cool completely before moving on to the next step. So I'm gonna be using some chocolate chips we're gonna melt these in the microwave and you see here there are a little bit of chocolate there but once you start stirring it the heat from the bowl is going to melt the chocolate all the way and now we can put the chocolate in a ziplock bag or a piping bag whatever you'd like to use now 
Now pipe a little bit of chocolate on the back of each cake and spread it with a spatula and then press it onto a wax paper. Once you've done all of the minions, then we're gonna put this into the freezer for about two hours. To make the ice cream filling, I'm using uh, strawberry ripple ice cream. This is a local ice cream that I absolutely love. And we have to let the ice cream soften up a little bit. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm measuring the hoopie pie and you just want to determine how big of a rectangle you're gonna need to have enough for all of the hoopy pies. So my rectangle was nine by three inches. So I'm just going to add enough ice cream so I can make a nice rectangle. Now I'm going to divide the big rectangle into small sections. And because the ice cream got a little too soft on me, I ended up putting it back into the freezer. Now when you are ready to assemble the sandwiches, simply peel off the minions of the wax paper. And now you can divide the ice cream into sections and simply put the ice cream filling on top of the bottom hoopy pie. Now both of the hoopy pie cakes and also the ice cream are cold so they are not sticking together. If you want them to stick together you have to let the sandwiches sit at room temperature for a little bit like five minutes or so. And then as the ice cream gets softer, you can press the cakes into the ice cream and it will stick together. And then you can just stick them into the freezer. These are so great for hot summer days. And I already had one. It was so, so yummy. I love the ice cream and hoopy pies together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in a comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.